All right, everybody, here we go again. We are hosting uh, Chinese Petroleum today, and uh, let's see if we can beat them or not. We're going to just stick with the same team that we had before and uh, see what's going on. So uh, we're not going to do any of this stuff. We're not going to change the formation here in this game. We're not going to change this. We're just going to go ahead and push forward with it and see what happens. And uh, hopefully we can uh, keep the players happy and keep things going. Let's uh, see what's happening here. So uh, we go through the dressing room and... Uh, We'll tell them to keep the good run up. Nobody seems to even notice what I've said. That's a good sign. And uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, so not too much uh, here to talk about other than my um, hope, which is always there, that Fenelist will continue to score the way that he's been scoring. And, uh, I mean, we'll see if it happens or not. We do have, um, and uh, this is the big warning on this one, we do have a, play, a team filled with uh, players who are inconsistent. Um, some of these players do show signs of brilliance every once in a while if you can uh, keep them uh, playing the way that they should. But uh, not all of them are going to play the way that they should. And so we're going to hope and uh, see what team shows up for us. Chen Shu Shun with it passes back to She Peng Long. Over to Fenelus, and it's Shu Chu Wei who gets it. Over to She Peng Long, and uh, that's up to Fenelus. And uh, he tries heading that one forward. There's really nobody there. I'm not sure if that was intended to be a shot or a pass. It's kind of hard to tell. And uh, so now let's see what happens here. And they have the ball for an early corner. And uh, we better be on our uh, best, best uh, defensive uh, foot. And uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately for them, they get a shot off that um, ends up going just wide of the goal. Let's say it's unfortunate for us. We're not able to get that clearance, but that uh, ends up okay in the end. Menugong there just gives up possession way too easily. And um, thankfully for us, Yufu Tsai um, was not able to make much of it, but uh, that's not what we like to see. And it's a goal kick for them. Let's see if uh, Menugong can win this one. He can't. I mean, he's playing out of position. You know, it's my own fault for uh, trying to make him do this. There's Fenelis who's behind the defense, and he scores a goal easily. Man. Now, is the flag up? Nope, it's down. And so they're going to say that he was onside. And um, I mean, this is the thing about Fenelis. He's such a great player that, um, I mean, if he gets the ball in this kind of position, and boom, there he goes. Yeah, you can see that um, he just got right, right behind the defender. And, uh, I mean, there's no way he's going to miss. one nothing for Mars FC, and this is what we've been uh, accustomed to here recently. And so uh, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, one nothing here so far in this match. And uh, remember, a win here is really big because a win here will propel us up to, I think, sixth or fifth position, something like that, depending upon what happens with um, other matches um, today. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We have no chance of winning the league. Um, but we do have a chance of avoiding relegation, which is what the whole point of this is. Try to come over here and do a little bit of saving. Um, I do remember, and I've said this before, that it is still the Hexagon Challenge, but um, it's nice to take a little bit of a uh, breather from uh, trying to get things working in uh, uh, Oceania, and that's going to be Som who's called for the penalty, and uh, this is going to make us a 1-1 game, so I can't count your chickens before they're hatched. And uh, <laughs> Kataka ends up jumping to the wrong side, I think he jumped before the ball was even shot. So um, uh, Lin uh, Jungsheong ends up uh, scoring this goal. Yeah, he goes to the wrong side. He goes to the wrong side. He jumped a little bit early, and uh, it was a spectacular jump. It just uh, wasn't very effective. 1-1 one, one now the score. Shep Hong Long with it. Yeah, we'll get back over to Oceania here eventually, but uh, we want to um, build up a little bit of reputation, first of all, and uh, hopefully be able to get to a team that's a little bit better. Gunda has been fouled. And um, there is no call. And then he ends up with the ball again and has a shot on goal that, uh, unfortunately, their uh, keeper is able to stop. He was fouled from behind there. I'm surprised there was no call. I'm not quite sure what uh, he has to do. 1-1 um, now the score. So uh, we had a, a flying opener, and uh, it hasn't lasted long. Lee Mao with it. Now over to uh, Fenelis. Fenelis over to Ling Guan. He must be offside. Uh, he shoots and scores. I'm looking up at that flag, and uh, there's no flag that's up, but he must have been offside there. And so, I mean, we'll take it. You know, we'll take it any day of the week. Well, 1-1, one, one, or 2-1 now, is uh, we've got two goals from our two big goal scorers. But, um, I mean, you look at this here. How is he not offside? <laughs> I mean, he's pretty, pretty clearly offside. That's a pretty bad no call on the part of the linesman. Um, I mean, I don't... Yeah, let's take a look here and see this tight offside. I mean, he's clearly, he's clearly offside. There's nobody even close to him. And the guy who they're saying was just about even with him was right behind him. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. We'll take it 2-1 now. It's a little bit of good luck for us, and, I mean, we can use all the good luck that we can get. There is always a chance, by the way, that we could end up being relegated even if we win out, um, but I think it's a pretty slim chance. I don't think that the other teams at the bottom of the table are going to suddenly start winning. Shoot your way. Though, then again, our, our uh, transfers might um, end up uh, causing that to happen if we accidentally hurt the wrong team. 
shoots her way with that shot and ends up with nothing. And uh, well, I don't know what happened to Monogong, but he's not where he needs to be. And uh, that causes all sorts of problems, which led to that corner. I mean, among them was the fact that we had a center back who was running over there trying to play on that uh, right wing. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's kind of what happens. We could use a, a player who's not Menogong playing over there. Lee Mao ends up with this. He's got a couple of guys um, over on the uh, far wing. I'm not sure if he notices it or not, and um, he ends up losing possession. That's going to be the end of that. 2-1 here going to the halftime, though, and uh, we're doing okay. Let's see if we can keep uh, working hard and keep at it. I'm not seeing anything really bad going on, so uh, we'll see what happens here. And uh, we do have a couple of... Uh, uh, I would say I have a couple of minutes before my next meeting in real life. We do have um, a little bit of uh, time here, so uh, let's uh, see what we can do. See if we can't get this ball off of them. Linguanda does over to uh, who? Looking for Fenelis, and that wasn't really much of a pass. He worked so hard to win the ball, and then he just gives it up with his first pass. So, I mean, we've been used to that. That's happened a lot here. Hasn't happened quite as much here as it did over in uh, um, uh, American Samoa, but uh, so it is. And uh, now we got to get back on defense. Ooh, man, that was a very, very close. Um, and uh, fortunately for us, we're able to uh, make that save there in the back um, right at the uh, very last moment. If they had another man in there looking for a cross, we would have been dead to rights. There's no way we would have been able to stop that. So um, I mean, we're doing okay. I just hope that we don't get too complacent. Here's Magunda with the corner, and he steps back, goes up and fires, and uh, just not quite able to get our head onto it. And it remains a 2-1 game so far and uh let's see if we can get this ball off of them it's yufu thai again and uh, i mean we've seen him with his wild shots but we want to just take the ball away is what we want to do fairly good defense there and um, that was um menogong again i believe yeah because it's our right side and uh whoo man that was really really close unfortunately for us nobody touched that so that ends up being a goal kick this was um, actually a pretty good movement there by uh by uh chinese uh uh petroleum and uh that was uh probably a little bit closer than um than we would like to see kataka here with the ball over to tsai yu ting tsai yu ting with it down to Menogong, and uh, he's got all sorts of space he kind of knocks it up he's limping a little bit li mao now and uh, his header ends up going nowhere and it is uh, tsai yu ting he's able to win this one back over to kataka over to samb like seeing how these uh, three guys in the back play together um and uh it's not such a bad formation after all. Fenelis, um wins that one and heads it forward, of course, to nobody. And uh, that's that may just be some part of the position that I'm unaware of or something like that. Yufu Tsai with this again. He's beaten Menogong. They're going to keep running it over to that side because uh, Menogong doesn't really know what he's doing. He's still trying to learn the position. And, uh, I mean, he's a good player and he's young. I think he can learn it, but it's going to take a little while. Shoot your way with it. And he lumps his forward for Limao. Limao just not able to get there, but he is able to um, take advantage of a mistake over to Magunda, over to shoot your way, and um, his shot is up and above everybody's head, and uh, the score remains 2-1. to one. And Sam with this now, over to Linguanda, over to Limao. Limao with it. Uh, I was looking for that pass in there to Linguanda, and he didn't see it. Chen Shihuan now, and uh, he just takes a shot. That was actually a pretty good idea and a pretty good shot. It just um, didn't quite have enough quality to finish, but um, I thought he did a pretty good job. Here's another corner for us. I know Samb is tired. We're going to keep him in there. Magunda, and uh, that is going to be headed out. We're going to keep him in there because we have time before our next uh, two matches, actually. Linguanda with the ball. Steps on it and waits and then tries to find uh, shoot your way and uh, ends up uh, finding a defender. <laughs> Linguanda needs to work on that passing. And uh, let's see if we can get this ball back. And, uh, and unfortunately ends up with Yufu Tsai again which means that it's going to be the Yufu Tsai show as he uh, takes his defender and uh, shows him how to play the position, but that's up and over for a goal kick again. So we've uh, managed to uh, stave off that threat, and uh, let's see if we can get the ball off of them again, and that was Yufu Tsai with a shot, and that, again, is wide. So we're having fairly good luck and some fairly good fortune here so far. We haven't uh, been um, caught um, too, uh, you know, uh, we haven't been caught red-handed, this defense that is, but uh, it's still we still have enough time left for them to get an equalizer. I would love to get a second goal, and it doesn't look like we're in the process of doing that as Menegong is getting schooled once again. And, I mean, every single time they bring the ball up on that right side, the same thing happens, and there it is. Koyu Ting ends up uh, scoring the uh, equalizer, and uh, that was pretty, pretty poor. And, again, I've got to uh, blame Menegong for that. And it's hard because I don't really have anybody who can who I can put in that position who offers the same amount of quality that he has, but um, he doesn't know how to play the position is the problem. And um, 
Kataka uh, should have probably been able to stop that one. I mean, I'm not sure what he was doing. He looked like he was um, sprawled out on the ground. Yeah, Menegong having a really, really poor match. And so, uh, I mean, we'll see what we can do. Not easy to find wingbacks here. Um, how many players do they have here on the pitch now? It looks like they uh, brought on two extras or something. I'm not quite sure what's happening, but whatever it is, it seems to have gone away. And uh, Huang Shengqie now with it. And I think what it was, I think it was substitutions on their part. Um, that's uh, headed up and over, and I'm looking at the screen shaking and shaking. I'm not quite sure what is uh, causing that. Um, but uh, something something about the awesomeness of Football Manager is uh, really challenging my computer. Two more minutes to go here. A uh, draw is not the end of the world, but we would like to win. Um, we always want to win. Kataka here with the ball. Uh, we'll see if we're able to win or not, though. Kataka ends up uh, passing over to Shep Hong Long. Does he know how much time is left? Doesn't look like it. Ling Guan Do with it, looking for Li Mao. Can't find him. And, uh, yeah, we're having some uh, issues here with the screen. Um, I'm not quite sure what's causing it. Um, and uh, it's Huang Shengqie who is um, dispossessed of the ball, and that's a goal kick and not even a foul. I'm not quite sure what happened there. That's full time, and so uh, that's the end of the match. 2-2 um, the draw. They actually had the better of the XG, and uh, we barely uh, won the possession battle. So pretty good uh, match between what I would consider to be two even teams, but um, we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can improve a little bit from this, and um, I will talk with you again later. Bye.